Uh, first of all, why did David Knopfler leave? Uh, David left really to do uh, his own thing. He wants to be a record producer, and uh, that's what he's trying to do at the moment, really. Basically, I mean, he just wanted to uh, get out and discover if he could do it or not on his own. Hal and uh, Alan, how is it uh, coming into a group like uh, Dire Straits, who's well known from before and, and playing to thousands and thousands of fans all over the world, uh, considering your past? Well, I suppose it's uh, it's like any schoolboy's dream. Isn't it? Anybody's oh, any well, schoolboy's dream. Yeah. Schoolboy's dream, isn't it? Then? Well said, John. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's obviously it's really good fun. Yeah. Something I've always wanted to do. Right. Well, basically, yeah. I mean, when David left, we we had made a, a record which had such such a predominance of keyboards on that I mean it was something that was going to happen anyway. Eventually, and it was uh, we needed to find a, a keyboard player. Two. Well, initially, yeah, there was an idea to get to get well, two. two keyboard players, right? But they wouldn't let me have two. And well, that's not well, <laughs> yes, not it true. Is. Yes, it is. <laughs> How about you, Hal? How Sarah. did you happen to uh, to get the job? Uh, I just heard about it. I just heard about it through some people. So I found the office and I said, uh, this is a job for Kid Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked in and uh, that was it. Yeah. The, the very first show I, I did, the first show that Alan and I did, the very first number, we walked out, it was in Canada, and you know, we're all like this, you know, we walk out, first chord, boing, <laughs> the string goes <laughs> flying off. Uh, uh, when can we expect a new uh, Dire Straits album? Probably about a year. I'd quite fancy doing a, like, a double record, a bigger record, because you, know, you only get about 20, 20 minutes on a record, so it's on a side. So just uh, fancy trying to get more of the breadth of what we've just been talking about, all this whole pile of music that you accumulate, you know, try and get it all on one record. How did your special way of playing uh, evolve? From uh, from not having an amplifier, having an electric guitar, wanting to play rock and roll, but not being able to afford to, basically just not didn't have an amplifier. So I, you know, spent a long time just playing on this uh, electric guitar with no amplifier, just with my head on it and stuff, just to hear it and playing with a pick. And then, but the only way that I could get a sound that well that you could hear was by borrowing an acoustic guitar and playing an acoustic guitar and then learning how 